Hello, Cassandra. This will be some video feedback for you, uh, midterm video feedback, and I'll focus on the uh, print ad. And welcome to GRA 220, belatedly. Cassandra, this is what you submitted, and um, I wanted to say that, you know, in, in terms of file structure, it's exemplary. Um, and the other thing, too, is that you've embedded images. So it is a portable file. It doesn't rely on, uh, say, high-res photos in another folder somewhere else. Um, the other thing I like about it, too, is how you have um, used layers to put things, you know, um, that you can turn on or off at will. So that's great. And you've learned how to draw um, frames or boxes, I think, um, you know, that have rounded edges, and that's good. Um, I would say there's a lot going... Oh, the other thing, too, I really like about it is your handling of the, of the palette. This yellow um, is not part of the corporate palette, but what's nice about it is that it's complementary to the purple. Now, in general, uh, watch your margins. And um, remember, this is a print ad. Print ads oftentimes get trimmed. And so, um, or part of the page will disappear into what's called the gutter. So you need to back things away from the edges. Um, I would be consistent about how you treat uh, um, these photographs and know that you can also put photographs in shaped boxes. Uh, for example, here, let me see. Um, you can, here's a, here's a box with some white fill, and I think you can uh, file a place. I'm just going to um, use any old thing. If I can find one. Okay, so here, here's just the arbitrary image. Uh, whoops. I think you can put, fill that with it. Ah, well, no, here I am. Um, but the idea is to be consistent about your frames, and, and that would be to, you know, pick one style, one arc. Um, I think you have, you know, just enough type. Take a look at professionally designed ads to see what else they include. And think about your typography. I'm, I'm glad that you've only used, you know, uh, three sizes. Um, but think about contrast a scale. Now, um, you know, this could be, for example, quite large. And think about what what kinds of types um, suggest, you know, perhaps being a little less formal, treating it, maybe staggering your type, uh, not centering everything too. Perhaps consider using uh, other arrangements that are more contemporary, perhaps. And just to give you an idea here, um, perhaps you don't even need that, you know. Do what's called uh, perhaps word painting, whereas the, uh, the 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 way you've set the type, the typeface suggests what it um, means. And I'm glad that you've used uh, Arial. You know, it's difficult to make look elegant. Um, sometimes, perhaps not making it bold might be a better choice. But you have everything on their own lines, uh, own layers. That's good. You've got all the ingredients. Be careful about borders that come so close to the edge here, and I think you can do with a do without them. You know, I think uh, turning off the border um, is probably a and bleeding wherever possible. Uh, bleeding means you know take it take things off the edge. Then you'll avoid these uh, awkward thin spaces that you create. I like your silhouette, but you know, is it possible that it could be much larger? Um, let's see. You know, what happens if I make it like 300%? I don't know if it has the resolution uh, to sustain that, but, you know, consider it. Contrast to scale is always, uh, I like that drop shadow effect. You know, perhaps the uh, mask could be a little refined, but also seems to be tilted a little bit to the right. Uh, you can, you can um, rotate that back however you want. But at any rate, let's see what that looks like. I don't know, it looks kind of grayed back. Um, but again, contrast to scale. Think about that. Uh, I like the three-dimensional effect. And I think, you know, keep it to about this much in terms of ingredients, too. Um, I think 
you know, adding things might be, um, make, make it cluttered. So that's all for now. Um, good job. You've got great ingredients, and I particularly like the way that you, your color sense uh, has created this sort of sunny glow effect on the entire ad. Very appealing.